Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. We are back and sadly we're looking at the foot champ screen. I don't know why, but anyways, hopefully you guys are doing well today. Hopefully you guys are having um, a, a good start to to uh, the day, although that's actually really not a good way to start the video because it's already 3.30 where I live, which means where most of you guys live, it's already nighttime. That was a horrible intro today. I, I just want to apologize. Guys, apologize. <laughs> I can't even speak. I just want to apologize today for today's. In oh my gosh. I just want to apologize today for today's intro. I just want to apologize to all you guys for the crap intro today. Anyways, let's get into the video. So we do have a new Future Stars Academy card. I want to talk about this with you guys. Um, I want to go over this a little bit and give you guys my opinion on it. So first of all. What do you guys think about this Cucurella objective card? Let me know in the comments down below. What are your genuine thoughts on it? Do you think that this is a card that makes it into your team? Is it a good enough version? Um, is the final boost good enough? And just generally, how do you rate it? What do you think? If any of those questions you guys want to answer, um, let me know in the comments down below. I'm, I'm down to have a little bit of a discussion there. Um, so again, it's the same format as the first uh, time around, which we had for um, Future Stars Rainy Air. Uh, where basically we have 12 objectives here, uh, score four goals using Spanish players, concede no more, uh, then one goal and three separate wins, uh, assist two goals using the 82, uh, assist using the 82 overall in four separate squad battle matches. So basically you can get the 80, uh, you can get the 84, I think within five games, because theoretically uh, you could score using four Spanish players, you could get that done, and then you could easily go ahead and get yourself um, the 84. Now we'll take a look at some of these in games as well in a second. Um, but the actually, you know what, we'll show you guys right now. So th there's three, there's a couple of versions. So to get this version, uh, you have to score four goals using Spanish players. Um, now the way that this version come out comes out to be is um, basically you've got a Hatafe, uh, Spanish, and then La Liga, obviously. So the links are good. This is the left back version. His stamina is good. His strength is low. Uh, his pace is not great, but his dribbling responsiveness is good. I mean, obviously, this card is not insane. Uh, he's not too usable. Uh, but then this version is not too bad. Um, this is the version that you guys get if you basically concede no more than one goal and three separate wins. Uh, you assist two goals using the 82, and then you assist using the 82 in four separate squad battles. So this this approach EA is, has gone with is the approach of uh, squad battles or rivals. Basically, that's what they've gone ahead and... Uh, you know, said, right? This is basically what what they're going with. So then you get this version um, of Cucurella, who is an 84 center mid, 83 pace, 83 dribbling, 74 shooting, 77 defending, 84 passing, and 80 physical. Uh, three star, three star, and then he's high medium. So he's really a box to box. His dribbling responsiveness is good. Uh, his shooting should be okay. His pace is pretty decent. His passing is also pretty good. His stamina is good, and his strength is not so bad. His defensive stats are good. So this is not a bad box to box card, in my opinion. And this is a card that you guys can obtain for playing like five games, right? This is like a, a card you can get for five games, I believe. So five game card there. And then once you get that card, you have to score three goals outside the box using him. You have to assist five goals using 84 overall in squad battle matches. Uh, this is going to be obviously, I think you could do it in one game if you wanted to or rivals. And then you've got to assist with a through ball in four separate wins. So basically you can get the 86 version of this card um, after playing theoretically four games eight games and nine games. So you can pretty much play nine games and get the 86, which I think is not the worst value ever considering you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, fours, 475 plus packs an 82 and an 84. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. You're also going to get some squad battle rewards. So I think grinding up until the 86 makes sense. Um, then it's kind of like, is it worth it to get the 87? Um, the 86, by the way, is we're going to take a look at it right now. The 86 is, is, is a decent card. This is really a card that EA is releasing because it's a card that fits the meta very well. Right now, a lot of people are using 5-back, 3-back, and, and, and that sort of formation. Um, and this is a very versatile card, I feel like, as a wide player. Um, he works well. He also probably works well in the middle. Um, this version has an upgraded skill moves to 4-star, still a lefty, and still high medium. But obviously, you guys can see the dribbling response of this is a lot better. 85 agility, 91 balance. He's got 96 stamina. Um, 73 strength, and then the passing gets a lot better. 89 short passing with 87 long passing. Also, not to mention, he's got 91 attack positioning. So this card gets a lot better, but then, then you obviously have to do a lot. You've got to go ahead then with the 86 and do a lot, guys. There's not an easy task for this. You're going to have to assist using the 86 in 13 separate squad battle matches or rivals. That's a lot of time, right? That's a lot of time. I think at minimum, this is going to take six and a half hours to do. 
Whereas the other card, uh, Rain on EA, is a pretty good card. I reviewed him. I use, I'm use i using him right now in Weekend League, and he's pretty freaking good. I like him a lot. I don't know if this card, first of all, is more than 100 k on the market. Second of all, I don't know if he's really that good. And I, for me, look, if you like this card and you want to grind it and you want to defend it, hey, I really like this grind, that's fine. You've got 30 days to do this. But I'm just saying for me, I think we're only going to get three or four of these cards. Uh, I don't think we're going to get a ton. We're going to get probably one every two days. So that would mean that we could get one on Tuesday, we could get one on Thursday, and then that's it, right? So two more, I'm thinking. And I'm just kind of saying that I really feel like that these cards could have been better. This card specifically could have been better. I would like Rain on EA. I think he's a good version, a nice little option in the Brazil Bundesliga situation, a good finishing as well. But I just think that we've got so many other potentials. This guy already has an 81 gold card, and they have hardly boosted him. I just think that there was a lot of better options for this one. And what I mean by this, for example, is that, you know, as much as we hate this card, this was, a, this was a squad battle's objective last year, right? And this was an extremely usable, linkable card. This card would have been more than 100k on the market. This is a card that I think was a little bit more worthwhile in terms of general value. So for me, I'm not in love with this card today. I really think EA could have done better. Um, I'm not in love with this selection. I think that we could have gotten a better card than Cucurella. I really do. Uh, but again, that's my opinion. It doesn't mean it's the right opinion, guys. So when you watch this video today... Look, I'm not saying this is a bad card. I'm not saying this isn't worthwhile to do. I'm just saying I feel like there could have been a couple players in here that would have been a lot more linkable slash better uh, for people's teams and a little bit more desirable. Maybe more people would have been fans, um, you know, of some of those cards. I, that's just the way that I see it, guys. Doesn't mean I, I need you guys to understand that it doesn't mean it's the right way. It do, just because I see something one way, it doesn't mean it's the right way to see it. Now, tomorrow, guys, sadly, the player pick runs out. I pray that EA refreshes this because it's been so fun to do these. I pray, I really pray that they refresh these player picks, guys. We really need these to continue to happen. Um, I really hope that EA re re refresh this because I think these give so many people uh, something to grind in the week with these player picks. I really think they're really fun. So I would like to see those um, those refreshed. I really would. Uh, but again, we'll have to see. We'll have to see, guys. Uh, now, moving into a little bit more. Today, your boy has started uh, the craft for Kaka, guys. Yes, we've started the craft for Kaka. I have so many high-rated untradeables that I don't know what to do with it. And I had so many duplicates that I was like, you know what? Let me just do an 88 because I, I really want to get Neymar's player of the month. But what we have to understand, guys, is like when I'm getting all these dupes doing these upgrade packs, there's nowhere to put them. There's literally nowhere to put any of these. So I have to put them into somewhere. And you guys can see we've still got so many 88s, so many 87s. So we can right now easily, I think, uh, get an, another 87, 86 squad done. And then probably even looking at it, probably 85s as well. So we really, really can uh, do a lot. Uh, and I think Kaka is the guy that I really want to unlock, especially because with my teams, I always am really looking at getting kind of these like central icons. I feel like I always need a central icon. So I am really starting to work towards getting that version of Kaka um, done. I think for me, it's something that really does make sense. Um, and then I think I also have some 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 players amount of sign. I don't even know what's here. Yeah, Cornet. So I didn't end up uh, putting this dude into an SBC. And now he's just going to sit in my honest sign, which is great. But uh, I want to show you guys the transfer list real quick because I, I want to go over with you guys kind of what's happening in today's market. Um, really, I know that today, yesterday and today, I really started to buy some Road to the Finals. And I really started to buy uh, some Team of the Weeks. Now, I have not I have not really looked at the market too much today. So I don't really know how these are doing. Um, I don't even know how the market's doing today. But I'm assuming the market may be starting. To, so no, I, I bought a little too early. So Sterling is now 503k. And I bought him at 509. So this guy went down a little bit. I thought that today was going to be cheapest for yesterday was going to be cheapest for him because you know what? He was holding value all weekend, right? And he looked really, really rare and in demand. I bought him the pie at 250. And then I'm starting to kind of pick up some roads to the finals. But again, I'm not even sure how these are going to do. I bought some Cooley Bollies at 690. Um, Champions League is this week, guys. So I started to pick up roads to the finals, um, just kind of assuming that people will start to gamble. I'm expecting a lot of these will probably start to have big rises after Squad Battle Rewards tonight. But again, I bought Wijnaldum, taking the risk that even though Curtis Jones was out, that maybe he would go up a little bit. Uh, we've got some Lunnins from the other week. I bought some Brants because I felt like Brant uh, was a nice little option with Dortmund to gamble on. And also, he has the link to the new player. So he's like 155 right now. We bought some Muriels because he's the cheaper option, um, which is, you know, just, just a little shout there. Um, Sancho's really starting to rise uh, with the link to uh, the, the objective. And you can really see that people... Um, you can really see that people are starting to get the objective because I remember on the video the other day, we were talking about these Sanchos and uh, like they've already risen a ton. We've got some Muriels here, uh, which picked like 100 to 105. You know, I think for me, like those these kind of mid-tier ones are really interesting because I think a lot of people may end up trying to gamble on some of these ones. Um, now, we made some really nice overnight flips, guys. I wasn't able to show you guys, but 
I did have some really nice over flips and then we all overnight flips. But then we also have some that didn't sell, which is like Reese James is one of them. And I think he's going to go lower with squad butter rewards. So I've got to go ahead now and take the L on these because I do think that there is going to be some supply tonight and he's going to go a little bit lower. So I'm going to make sure that I get these out. And this is always like my flaw as a trader is that sometimes when things are kind of dropping a bit and I know they're going to go lower, I never sell them. So I need to get out of that. I've also got some Jonathan Davids that I've got to sell here. Uh, this is this is something that I got to get out because if I don't get these Jonathan Davids out, uh, he's also going to go lower, I believe, tonight, right? Because a lot of these guys are going to get packed. So he's out once. Oh my God, I bought this on Friday and I never sold it. Well, there you go, guys. This is what happens, man. When you, don't, when you guys don't keep tabs with stuff, uh, it just gets out of control because we had, still have two that we didn't sell from Saturday. Holy painful that is. Um, but yeah, we've got some of these left back deloads. I got to be careful, man. And it came to my attention that basically somebody had told me that a bunch of discords and trading discords are only doing these out-of-pack stuff now. And basically, uh, they all were panic selling the other day. So I couldn't figure out why Dallow was down like 14K and all this stuff. So I got to be careful buying this out-of-pack stuff because it's just not a good idea to do that this year. I got to just stick to trend trading and flipping because a lot of these out-of-pack stuff just get way too saturated um, with too many people buying the same cards. So I got to be careful because they just didn't really go too well. And I think I really could have avoided that. But it is what it is, right? It happens. Now, something that is really interesting is that um, I think Joao Cancelo went up a lot. Uh, somebody in my, my chat was telling me today when I was streaming that Joao Cancelo went up to like, I think I think it was like 390, right? And I picked him up yesterday at uh, 335. So I think these will continue to go up a good amount. I bought a Varane for my club, guys. Um, you know, I bought that. I, f I feel good about that Varane. I think that's a pretty nice buy. Um, I got him at 850. I don't really see this guy going too much lower. I kind of feel like that's his lowest. I, I took a little risk in Boston Rose of the finals that were even inflated, like Jesus at 900. You know, I, I don't know how they're going to do, but at this point in the year, you got to try to have some fun with FIFA. And I think for me, these Rose of the finals are really fun to kind of gamble on. So I bought an Aubameyang. I bought a, uh, a Griezmann at 448. You know, he looks like he's up nicely. He's at like 500 right now. So honestly, I think I'm actually going to take some money on this Griezmann because that's a really, really high rise um, there. And then... Yeah, I mean, other than that, guys, like Hazard, we've really kind of, we've done a little bit of investing here. Nothing too crazy. But again, assuming that a lot of people probably this week will start to do some gambling um, on these roads of the finals. I've done that. And then yesterday, really what, what is nice for me is like what I can do with my coin sometimes is just kind of like buy some little to medium budget stuff that can pay for these player picks. I thought Shaw was too low. He's at 29.30 right now. I bought a lot at like 25 to 28 on bid. Um, I liked it. I went for it. So I just bought it and then I got a couple Morales. So I did pick up some of the team of the week on bid. We've got a couple roads to the finals here. I was watching this Renato Sanchez. Well, actually looks like he's going down a little bit. I might gamble on this Renato Sanchez this week. I haven't decided yet, but I may gamble on him because if he wins against, uh, Ajax, Renato's going to go to an 86, which is just crazy. So that might be worthwhile gambling on. If this guy wins against Ajax, he's going to go to an 86. Um, and then obviously I think I think there's going to be a big price increase. So really, if, if you're feeling like gambling this week, I think Renato's a really big one to gamble on because I think he's going to go to an 86 and just everybody in the world is going to want to use that Renato. So that would be something that I would recommend if any of you guys are really feeling like you want to take a risk on something. Uh, Renato, may be, Renato may be the guy that you want to risk on um, because... Look, I'm not here to say that they're going to win because I don't know if they're going to win. But if they do win, I'm saying that there's going to be a big, big price increase for Renato Sanchez. So that's something interesting that if you're, you know, if you're kind of looking into that sort of thing, that might be an option that, that may be good for you. I don't know. I can't tell you what you what you should and shouldn't buy. Um, but that 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 one definitely for me is uh, is interesting. They also increased Koulibaly's price range, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, he was stuck at like 750 for the longest time. And now he's up a little bit. So what I'm going to make sure I do right now is just lazy list these guys. You never know. Uh, you never know when you're going to get sales. So I'm just going to make sure that all my cards are always listed. I think that's very important to do, guys. And I'm just going to keep making sure. I haven't, you know, I haven't been trading a ton these days, guys. We're really kind of trying to embrace the grind right now, doing, putting out a lot of content with the main and the second channel, doing player picks. So I really haven't been trading too much. I'm having a lot of fun right now uh, with my community doing what we're doing. So I just kind of want to keep to that, man, because I'm having a really good time. And I think it's I think it's important with FIFA to make sure you're having a good time. I think that's such an important part for for your general experience on FIFA, man. Um, I guess really the only thing that I'm disappointed with with EA is like we haven't really had any icon SBCs. They keep releasing repeatable icons, so I think icon swaps are as I said before, and I'm going to keep mentioning is going to be this upcoming Friday. Um, I think we'll get that probably instead of a promo, and then I think 
I think because of that, you know, there's a chance that we're probably going to get a couple icon SBCs, maybe a couple icon moments that come, you know, I don't know. I can't tell you for sure, but if I'm going to take a guess, I think there's a real shout that because icon swaps and icon moments are on Friday, that maybe EA released some of the first icon moments cards, you know, of the year. I don't know. That's my guess. But we, so like, as you guys can see, we hardly have any, any prime icons anymore, man. So you'd also assume that within 14 days, like they're going to provide us with, with some icons, right? Because like, there's no way that this icon tab is just going to disappear in the next 14 days without a replaced player. They have to, they literally have to bring us uh, new icons. It would be a disgrace if we didn't end up getting new icons. I mean, it'd just be so bad. So I can't really see a way like in which EA doesn't do that. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I guys, again, like I, I, we're putting up a lot of reviews right now on the second channel, but um, I wanted to, to, to talk to you guys about this guy. I mean, so far out of the Future Star Academy dudes, um, this dude is phenomenal. Uh, he's really good. So and if you guys that are really on the border of, of, of trying this guy out, I mean, I've done this with him in foot champs. He's a net machine. This guy does not miss. So, yeah, I mean, he's, he's turning into a card that I really like. So if you're, if you're not sure if you want to do this or not, I would really recommend. I really like him so far. He's been really good to me. So, yeah, just, to, you know, consider it. If you guys are on the border or you're, you're not sure, I would say do it because I really do enjoy him. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today's video, guys. I really think that's it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all you guys, man. And I'll see you guys in a video later. Peace.